Okay, turn to page 54. We are going to go over exponential growth and exponential decay models and apply them to word problems. Now, you need to know move this over. An exponential decay. So exponential decay. Okay. This is the equation y equals a times 1 minus r to the t. And that's where a is your initial amount. 1 minus r is called your decay factor. r is the decay rate and t is the time period. Now, that's exponential decay. You also have exponential growth model. The only difference is y equals a times 1 plus r to the t. And we call 1 plus r the growth rate And R, well, do, I'm sorry, 1 plus R is the growth factor, and R is the growth rate. Okay, you do need to have these memorized, okay? Now, we're going to go over one of these word problems on page 54. And this says, population. The population of a city decreased from 1995 to 2003 by 1.5% annually. In 1995, there were about 357,000 people living in the city. Write a function that models the city's population since 1995, then find the population. Now, whenever it tells you to write a function, that means you are to have two unknowns. In this case, y and t. Okay, so we're going to let p be the population of the city in thousands, and we're going to let t be the time in years since 1995. So, the initial value is 357, and the decay rate is 0.015. Okay, so now they're saying in thousands, so I'm going to make this 357,000. So I'm going to plug in my unknowns. We're trying to find out the population. A is the initial amount. So A would be 357,000. R is the decay rate, which is 0 0.015. So you can leave this either as your function or you could change it actually subtract 0 0.015 and get 0.985 to the t but this would also be the function you can put p or you can put y it really doesn't matter okay now to actually find the population we're going to substitute a value for t well, if we went from 1995 to 2003, that's eight years. So we're going to substitute eight for T. So we say 357,000 times 0.985 raised to the eighth. So if we use a calculator, we'll get 316, 343, and that would be the answer. Okay, so now I would like everybody to please turn to page 59, and we're going to go over this again. Now, here on page 59, <coughs> I go over again the exponential decay model, the exponential growth model. You must know these definitions. Okay, 
Now, it says a family purchased a car for $11,000. The car depreciates or loses value at a rate of 16% annually. Write a function that models the value of the car over time. So when I say function over time, that means T and Y are not going to be filled in. Find the approximate value of the car in four years. So I let V represent the value and T represent the time. The initial value is 11,000 and the decay rate is 16% or 0.16. So I plug that in and this would be the function. Now notice there's two unknowns, the V and the T. But then I'm going to plug in the value in four years. So I'm going to plug in four for T and I get the value of the car after four years of depreciation. Okay? So let's look at number two. Number two says the population of a country is growing by 1.5% per year. A census taken in 2001 showed a population of 9,800,000. Write an exponential growth function to model the country's population over time. So this is going to be a growth function. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually write the growth formula. So, for it to be growth, I'm going to say y equals a times 1 plus r to the t. Okay? Now, it tells me it's growing at 1.5 percent per year. So the rate, r, I would write as 0.15. And A, the initial amount, is 9,800,000. So, for my function over time, I say 9,800,000, and it's 1 plus 0.015 to the T. And that would be the answer to the first part. Notice this is unknown, this is unknown. Then, they want us to assume the country's population growth remains constant. What will the population be rounded to the ones place in 2011? Well, from 2001 to 2011, they're basically telling me t equals 10. So now I'm going to substitute ten for t. We put this into the calculator and we get y equals 11,373, sorry, 11,373,000. Okay? Let's turn the page and do another one. So the next one says, number three, Jenna buys a new car for $16,000. The value of the car decreases by 14.2% per year. Write a function to model the value of Jana's car over time. Well, first I'm going to say V equals A times 1 minus R to the T, because that's the decay model. V equals the initial price, 1 minus 0.142, which is the decay rate, to the t. So this is the function over time. One unknown, two unknown. Then it tells me let t be 8. Find the value when t is 8. So now I just plug in an 8 here and I get value equals 4699.14. Okay? So now I want you to do four, five, six, seven on your own. Stop the video, turn it back on, and check your answers. After this video, we're going to go over the compound interest formula. So everybody do four, five, six, seven, 
turn the video back on to check your answers. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the answers for four and five. Let me zoom in. Okay, so four is $360. Five is twenty-four thousand six hundred. For number six, thirty-four thousand two fifty-six, and number seven, ten thousand one hundred and eleven point sixty-seven. Okay, the next video will go over compound interest.